this is Devin Easterlin with SJA Property Management, and here's another edition of Landlord's Corner. Today we're going to talk a little bit about what to do when your property won't rent. So as we all know, vacancy is one of the biggest drivers of our investments performance. And even one month of vacancy is about 8% of our gross revenue. So we really want to control that as much as possible. So here are five tips uh, that might be helpful for you. So the first one that you want to think about is making sure that you have quality advertising. By that, I'm talking about the content of the ads, clear descriptions, um, making sure that your pictures look good. They're not too dark. You don't have, say, the toilet seat up in the bathroom photo, things like that, making it look professional. You may want to go and get professional photography um, to make yours stand out, especially in a slower market like we're seeing right now, given the time of year. You want to make sure that your ads really stand out. The second one is making sure you have maximum exposure. So if you're only advertising in one place and you're not getting enough response, you wanna make sure that you go out and load your property onto other sites. A couple would be Zillow would be a great one. Make sure you're using Craigslist. You can go to apartments.com. You can go to TurboTenant. There's a number of different sites um, that you can put your property on that'll syndicate to even more sites. In addition, we're seeing a big uptick in social media, say Facebook Marketplace. Um, you could put your property on there. We've gotten a lot of leads from that lately, so that's a really another good thing that you can come up with. The next thing would be um, quick responses. So if you do get a lead, especially in a slow time, you need to respond very quickly to that lead, schedule the appointment as soon as you possibly can. Uh, tenants have a lot of different options that they can go to, and you wanna make sure that you're getting them in to see your property. Uh, the next thing you want to think about is when you show them that property, is the property in rent ready condition? Does it smell good? Is it clean? Are the carpets clean? Does the outside look good? Um, making sure that it's the temperature is set so it's comfortable when you walk in, those type of things. So you have a really good experience uh, for those tenants when they come in, making sure there's no other tenants present so that the, the people you're showing can feel comfortable walking around. All that adds to the experience and makes it more likely that they're going to choose your property over someone else's. So those are things to think about. Um, the next thing that you can think about is offering incentives. Say you've tried all this, your, your property looks really good, it shows well, it's marketed everywhere, you're very responsive, um, you can start doing some incentives. So rather than lowering the rent, you could say offer a $500 bonus. Um, for someone to move in. You could off also offer free rent, say for two weeks. This can work because say you're halfway through the month already, it's going to be very unlikely that you're going to get someone to move in mid-month. You can offer someone two, two months free rent if they move in by the first. That way they can move in earlier, earlier than they might have, and they can move over time. So that can be a powerful incentive uh, to get people to move quickly. So I think you need to take all of these things into account when it's the t this time of year, which is November going into December. Um, if the market softens a little bit, you have to do everything, even be more diligent to make sure your property is standing out, uh, you're being as responsive as you possibly can, and you're doing things a little bit differently to stand out from the rest of the rentals out there. If you have any questions about how we accomplish this here at SJA or just questions on rent, um, marketing properties in general, I'm always happy to answer those questions. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you soon.